Hi, I'm Ong, and welcome to the Megatronics Research Lab at VCA. Uh, this is my innovation, the IntelliBuoy. I worked on the code and circuitry for this project, and my partner, Shannon and Laura, assembled the buoy uh, using 3 quarters inch and 3 inch PVC piping. Uh, so let's take a look at the components of the buoy. Uh, so on top, we have a weather vane, which is used for measuring wind speed and uh, accumulated rainfall. And on the bottom, we have a sensor pod, which includes sensors that measure dissolved oxygen content, pH, uh, turbidity, and uh, water temperature. And uh, we built this buoy uh, to be able to measure, uh, measure and analyze uh, qualities of our local water bo uh, bodies of water, such as the Hackensack River. And uh, here we can see the circuitry. Uh, which we're using two Arduino Unos, uh, uh, which are connected to the respective uh, components. And uh, both Arduino Unos have an SD card on board to uh, collect the data. Uh, and so here are the power switches. Uh, and this one turns on the weather vane. And you can see that there's a flashing light. This is to comply with the uh, river safety regulations to make sure that the buoy is visible and uh, these turn on uh, the microcontrollers and to, if to operate uh, this buoy on, on a normal basis you would start with all the switches in the off position and you would use these USB ports and a laptop with the, uh, the Arduino IDE and the appropriate code uh, to upload code to each of the respective uh, boards then uh, you, would place, you would place the cap back on and turn all the pa you would turn all the power switches on after unplugging the laptop, and you would deploy the buoy for uh, for the desired period of time. Uh, after retrieving the buoy, you would again turn the switches off, and then upload code to each of the controllers, to uh, which would allow the, the SD card to be read without uh, the, without having without having to remove it from the SD cards from the uh, from the device and the SD card, the data of the SD cards would be printed out onto the serial monitor of the uh, Arduino ID at which point it could be copied and analyzed appropriately. Uh, so this is this has been the IntelliBuoy. Uh, thank you so much for viewing our work.